Steam is something that many of us use every single day. But for me, Steam has always been more of a means to an end. It was how I went and played games, and other than that, I just kind of forgot about it. There are hidden features, though, that can not only improve your Steam experience, but make it a lot better. First things first, we need to look at the Steam library. I have so many games that honestly, it can get very easily overwhelming, and some of them I'm truly never going to play again. For those games, we can hide them. Do this by right-clicking the game, selecting Manage, and clicking Hide This Game. The game will then completely disappear from your library. To get it back, click View at the top of Steam, select Hidden Games, and then right-click on the game you want to unhide and select Remove from Hidden. This brings the game back to your library. We aren't done with the library, though. One feature that everyone should be using in their library is Dynamic Collections. Add one of these by selecting a game you want to add to a category, going to New Collection, and selecting Create Dynamic Collection on the pop-up that appears. From there, you can set different filters for the category. For example, I have one to show all the games that I currently have installed, but the options are truly endless. Now, if I had one major complaint about Steam, it would be that it doesn't look great. Luckily, you can actually change the skin that Steam uses. You have two options for a Steam skin, downloading one or creating one. Either way though, you're going to use Steam Customizer to do it. You can find the link to them in the description down below on their site. And from their homepage, click on the Download Tool button. Then, click the Download button on the next page to download the Steam Customizer. Open the Steam Customizer file you downloaded. Go through the install process, and once it's finished, click Finish on the installer. Then, go back to the Steam Customizer website. Finally, you can create or download a Steam skin. Once you have done that, double-click the file you downloaded, Steam will relaunch, and your skin will be active. You can change these in Steam by going to Settings in the top left, selecting Interface, and then changing the skin in the Skin dropdown. Once Steam has been restarted, the skin you selected will be active, just like you can activate more online privacy using our sponsor, NordVPN. At Nord, they log absolutely none of your data. They strive to be great for streaming, and they have proven through years of use by myself and many others that speed isn't a problem. Add Nord to your online privacy suite at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash NordVPN. To close out this video though, there are a few quick things that you can do in your profile that you probably didn't know about. Go to the profile on the top of Steam and right here next to your username, click this arrow. This will show you all of your previous Steam names. This works on your friend's profile as well so you can see what their old usernames were. You can also change your Steam name and other profile information like all this embarrassing stuff that's on mine by going to your Steam profile and clicking clicking edit profile. But what if you don't want to change anything about your profile and instead you just want to see more tips, tricks, and tutorials about Steam? Well, check out this playlist on your screen right now because that's exactly what's in it. All of our Steam tricks, tips, and guides videos all in one place.